Today I am showing you 32 services to disable to get the lowest processors possible. We're going to be splitting this video into three parts, startup apps, background apps, and then we're going to be talking about services. Let's get straight into this video. Now the first thing we need to talk about before we get into services is literally going to be our startup app. So make sure you right click on the bottom, go onto task manager just like so, now go onto startup apps. Once you're on startup apps, literally right here, what you want to do is have every single status as disabled. You can see how many I have disabled. If you have a couple enabled so for example for me in video broadcast that is because i use my webcam so i have to keep that on so but make sure other than that everything else is disabled unless you're definitely going to be using it now to locate how well our pc is going to be running after this video by the way take note of your processors literally down this performance section the higher the processors that means more things are going on in your pc the more things going on meaning the higher delay and the lower fps so our goal is to get the processors as low as possible and of course we will be doing this by disabling so many services and one more window settings that we need to do before we disable all of the services is to actually make sure all of our startup apps within windows is definitely turned off so make sure you go onto the search bar search settings then go into apps literally right here then literally go into startup so second from the bottom literally right here make sure every single button here is off unless you're definitely going to be using it when you load your pc off as you can see i literally only have three on and now it is time for the most important part of this video to make sure we disable the correct service Services. And like I said, we have 32 services to disable. So go on to task manager again. This time, go on to services. Once you're on services, go on to open services, literally just like so. Once you open it, the page will look like this. Now, make sure you guys follow along. Of course, I'll teach you how to disable one service. Then you guys will get the gist. And then I'll say the service name and you literally disable it. So the first one we want to disable is BitLocker Drive Encryption Service. What you want to do is right click onto it, go on to properties, start type, make sure that is disabled, literally just like so. If service staff this is ongoing by the way literally stop it and then you'll be able to disable it once you disable it press apply press ok then you're back onto this page and now like i said i won't be doing that for every single one don't worry i'll literally tell you which one to disable and of course there are very important ones if it's very very important i will quickly tell you what the service does then you can judge if you want to disable it or to not now as simple as this by the way and of course there's a quick briefing on the left side let's get straight into it the next one you want to do connected user experience and telemetry make sure you disable it so again right click properties to save simple as that we can scroll down a little bit more and these are very very important diagnostic execution service diagnostic policy service diagnostic service host diagnostic system host what this is doing by the way is literally giving feedback to microsoft every single like 10 seconds obviously causing so much delay on your pc so make sure you disable these four right here once you do we can scroll down that tiny bit more until we see the fax now if this is our first kind of important setting what fax is it's the old printer so of course if you're using a fax machine make sure you do not disable this but for most of us we don't even know what a fax is so literally disable it just like so file history service you can also disable that geolocation service you could disable that what it is updating your maps constantly obviously most of us just want more frames zero delay in games we don't care about maps then we can scroll down some more until we see microsoft defender antivirus you guys don't have to disable this i've only disabled it because i use so many pc tweaking apps that come up with an antivirus but again if you don't care about these two you can disable it just just like so but for 50 percent of you watching this video you can still have it on normal automatic you don't need to worry about that one going down to net logon you could disable that one just like so we can scroll down a little bit more parental controls again literally in the name if you have parental controls on your pc do not disable this one your parents will definitely know but if you're not using parental controls make sure to disable it just like so then we can go into phone service again kind of important if you're using your phone on your pc i know so some of you guys do don't disable this one but i don't use my phone on my pc so literally disable it just like so print spooler this is very very important if you use a printer at all and you want to print from your pc do not disable this but for me i use my laptop to print not my pc so literally disable it just like so now just a quick 10 seconds before we get into even more services if you're struggling with high ping you need to be using a ping booster and by far the best ping booster and of course for free in the description below it is gear up this connects you to the best fortnite service the best csgo service the best gta service you possibly can and connect to so if you're suffering just like me 70 80 ping you quickly load up gear up quickly press boost like within fortnite and you will get connected to the best servers to get to zero to ten ping honestly it's incredible i really do recommend it make sure you download it from the description to get a free trial as well now that you have zero ping as well the next service is program compatibility assistance service make sure you disable that one next one secondary logon you can disable that one and of course next one smart curl you can disable that these are completely fine to disable by the way 
assist main this is 50 50 in my opinion i definitely think you should disable this maintains an improved system performance over time slightly bottlenecking your components so it actually does last longer but i'm not gonna lie we just want more frames here so make sure you do disable that we can scroll down that tiny bit more until we get to wallet service again if you use your wallet on your pc don't disable this but i know most of you don't so make sure you do disable that if you're not using the wallet then we can scroll down to windows biometric service make sure to disable that windows error reporting service to save that it's literally in the name we don't want windows constantly giving back errors to microsoft honestly we don't need that on our pc we just need more frames again scroll down that tiny bit more windows mobile hotspot again it's literally in the name most of this is self-explanatory if you're using hotspot to connect to your pc don't disable this or it will not work next one is windows search you can literally disable this one it's completely fine don't worry about it now we can scroll down through probably the most important ones xbox accessory management service xbox live xbox live Live, xbox live make sure you disable those four unless of course you're using xbox to clip xbox to go into party chat with people anything to do with xbox if you're doing that i'm not gonna lie you shouldn't be at all using video use discord but again if you're using xbox don't disable this but these are using so many processors on your pc once you do this by the way we need to do one more tweet now this next tweet again super super quick what we have to do is literally search game mode settings in the search bar right here and what you want to do is make sure this is off this strains your pc so so much i know it says optimize your pc for play that is only if you have the best of the best pc and most of you guys watching this video do not have the best pc so make sure you do turn this off once you turn this off please please do restart then load up task manager again go on to performance and let me know your processes it's almost definitely going to be lower comment it down below as well let's see who gets the lowest mine's only higher right now because obviously i'm editing the video and obviously recording if you guys did enjoy this video please leave a like and subscribe